Now to the race for the White House. NBC News has projected Donald Trump as the 2024 president elect. This would make him the 47th president of the United States and only the second candidate in U.S. history to win non-consecutive White House terms. His victory comes as he won in key swing states such as North Carolina, Georgia and Pennsylvania. Early this morning, Trump spoke to a crowd of supporters in West Palm Beach, Florida, claiming victory and thanking his supporters. This was a movement like nobody's ever seen before. And frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country and maybe beyond. Trump continued with saying that he'll fight for every citizen in this country to, quote, deliver the strong, safe and prosperous America that our children deserve and that you deserve, end quote. The 78 year old will become the oldest president ever inaugurated, beating President Biden's record by five months. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris chose not to address supporters in Washington, D.C. last night. Harris also calling off her watch party early this morning. Many now saying they are disheartened by the way the election is turning out. The consequences of a second Trump presidency are um, unfathomable and terrifying and I think will be um, horrible for, for us as a country and for our planet and for the world. All right, because I can't believe that women would vote against ourselves. Just the ability to, you know, control our bodies and our health. And, uh, and you know, somebody's for the people rather than for themselves. All right, that's all we have for right now. But we're going to be right back after a quick break here on KTSM 9 News Today.